Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching VHS TV. Today is Friday, April 29th. I'm Allison Eggers. I'm Bryce Ford, and here are today's announcements. Prom tickets are now on sale for $35 and will be sold during all lunches from now until Friday, May 6th. Prom will take place on Saturday, May 7th from 8 to 11 at the Indiana Roof Ballroom downtown. The theme is Escape to Rio. All students must have a ticket and will be breathalyzed upon entry. Any student interested in joining VHS Chainlink Senate next year, please pick up an application in your team office ASAP. For any questions regarding the process, feel free to see Mr. Cochran in room H105 or Mrs. Bretts in SA201. Applications are due on Monday, May 2nd. Seniors, if you're looking for a part-time or full-time job, please take a moment to check out all the job opportunities posted in the bulletin board in the front floor of the Senior Academy. If you have any questions about any jobs, please see Mrs. Martin. There will be a call-out meeting next Thursday, May 5th, for anyone interested in high school guard next school year. The meeting is at 6.30 and will be in BHS band room. Please enter door number 16. The Indian National Club will be hosting an interfaith event on Tuesday, May 10th in the Senior Academy LGI from 3 to 5 p.m. Please note, this is a change from the original date. The event will consist of speakers from several religions, keynote speakers, and a Q&A session. The International Club would like to give students and the community members a chance to learn about different faiths and cultures, and everyone is welcome. With it being Friday and the weekend coming up, we decided to ask some staff and students about the worst dates they've been on. One of my worst dates was when we went to the movies and we sat in the like first row and the entire time he kept talking about like his pants and then kept talking to me and asking me questions and honestly I just really wanted to watch the movie. I didn't really care about him. I only went because I wanted free dinner and a free movie ticket. He kept talking about his shoes. He said they were like Yeezys or something but I don't really think they were real because they were blue. My junior year of prom I went to prom with my boyfriend who was a senior and he was on the prom court and he was a prince that year. And then we went to after prom, which was hosted by my high school. So we were locked into the after prom and he spent the entire night flirting with other girls. Worst prom ever. I, uh, it was supposed to be dinner and a movie. I went to dinner first. And it was, a uh, it was kind of suspicious. She, uh, she brought her own salt to the, to the date. So I didn't, I didn't know how to take that. And then when she told me about her ex-boyfriend, who happened to be a stuffed animal named Mike, I, uh, I started to chuckle. So we're watching the movie, and she gets she gets popcorn and a drink. And when uh, when she stuck her whole head in the popcorn bowl and started eating like she was bobbing for apples, I got a little. I started laughing a little bit. Thank you to all those who participated. Now it's time for sports. Hey, Tommy. Thanks, guys. I'm Tommy Smith. The Brownsburg boys varsity golf team resumed competition Thursday by hosting a three-way match with Avon and Lebanon at West Chase. Dogs struggled early but regained their form to earn the victory, closing with a team score of 315 versus Avon's 327 and Lebanon 351. Luke Kelly earned medalist with a 73, while Landon Mundell finished second among the 18 golfers with a 75. Daniel Breslin came home with a strong 83, and Andrew Edwards completed the team score with an 84. Jack McKinley had an 86, Kyle Strakis added an 89, and Richie Bullock finished with a 94. The annual Brownsburg Invitational begins at 8.30 a.m. Saturday at West Chase. Good luck, guys. The junior varsity golf team got back on track Thursday night at Tri-West. Dogs shot a season-low 166 compared to Tri-West 206. Noah Bennett regained his early season form shooting a 40. Sophomore teammate Alex Smith carded a 41. Freshman Grant Meadows overcame some bad luck and shot a 42. Next in line was Grant Fellers with a 43. Also playing well was Derek Linville, Jesse Mears, Michael Colquitt, and Spencer Brown. Dogs returned to the link Saturday playing in the Lafayette Jefferson Invitational. The girls varsity tennis team traveled to Zionsville on Thursday and won a well-played match 5-0. Haley Blood was first off the courts at number three singles with a terrific performance. Morgan Bettner at number two singles executed a perfect plan in claiming the second point of the night. Kara Maringer battled back from a deficit to take home the final singles point. Number one doubles partners Caitlin Prada and Peyton Haygood prevailed in straight sets with textbook fundamentals. The doubles tandem of Kristrina Petrovic and Lily House held off a second set charge by the Eagles and reclaimed the momentum of the match to win the final point. The undefeated JV team beat the Eagles 11-0. Corinne Lucas, Grace Suter, Ava Dotlich, and Alyssa Walrich scored spectacular victories in singles play. Number one doubles Jen Barton and Tiffany Tran won their opening match and their playback. 
The, two, the number two team of Taylor Dorman and Morgan Keir dominated both of their matches. Allison Pritchard and Mansi Patel at number three doubles took home two nice wins. Jordan Callahan and Ali Von Enns at the fourth spot did a great job battling to keep the Eagles off the scoreboard. Lucas, Suter, Barton, Tran, Pritchard, Patel, and Callahan all remain undefeated. Both Farsi and JV traveled to Noblesville on Monday. Good luck. Both the boys and girls varsity track teams competed in the Hendricks County meet on Wednesday night at Danville. The girls team came away with a third place finish behind solid teams from Avon and Plainfield. Despite the tough weather conditions, several girls put in nice performances. Courtney Stoll led the way with the first place finish in the 100 meter hurdles. Joyce Silverton continued to lead the sprint crew with her very close second place finish in the 200. The jumpers scored a good amount of points as Claire Hathaway finished second in the long jump and Mackenzie Harless finished second in the high jump. Grace Esterline ran her best ever time in the mile. Also in the distance races, freshman Gabby Bechet and sophomore Emily Truax finished back-to-back -back in third and fourth place. The boys track and field team competed in the county meet Wednesday night at Danville and finished runner-up to Avon. Dogs had several county champs including Tyler Kurtz in the 200 and 400 meters, Devin Humes in the discus, Eli Johnson in the high jump, and Marcus Fierick won the mile with a new personal best time of 427. Other notable performances for the night include Shane Bonnes finished third in the 300 hurdles, Justin Garnett finished second in the pole vault with Hunter Weaver placing sixth. Devin Hughes placed second in the shot put. Elijah Wagner placed fourth in the 3200. Toksaka Abate take third in the 100 meters. Devin Boone finished second in the 800. And Christian Hammerly placed fifth with a new personal record. The boys and girls are back in action tonight at Zionsville. On Thursday, the boys and girls JV track teams competed at Westfield. The J girls JV track team came up just shy of a victory. Freshman Shanty Gregg led the Bulldogs with two first place finishes in the 100 and 300 hurdle races. Freshman Kaya Hill and Franny Brewer both jumped personal best records in the long jump as they took home first and second. Gianna Malfour and Gabriella Malfour both had great nights in the sprint events, picking up several points for the team. Olivia Zub grabbed an exciting first place in the two mile, while her distance teammate Grace Esterline had a great come from behind victory in the 800. Allie Ray took second in the 1600, while Rachel Graham was close behind in third. Sophomore Joyce Sopatin ran her first 400 ever and got first place. Just a few of several other great performances came from Sophie O'Neill and Samantha Hingle in the pole vault, Mystery Lebeter and Jade Harold in the sprints, Sarah Lentz and Morgan Spears in the distance events. Great job to these girls. The boys track and field team got a big JV conference win against Westfield Thursday night. The boys dominated the field events with Richard Lang and Tyler Nolan taking first and second the high jump. Ty Smith won the long jump. Reese Thomas had a great night winning the shot put and distance with personal best throws. Noah Mishler, Tanner Parnon, and Zach Dillow took the top three spots in the pole vault. Winners from the running events included Grant Lowe in the 100, the 4x100 relay of Grant Lowe, Reese Thomas, Tyrone Griffin, and Trey Fisher, Eric Egan in the 400, and the 4x400 relay of Eric Egan, Reese Thomas, Ethan Hurt, and Trey Fisher. Great job, guys. There will be a call-out meeting with Coach Baldbach on Tuesday, May 10th for any boys interested in running cross-country next fall. That meeting will be in the pool classroom at 5.30. Please enter door number 14. Summer workouts and other important information will be discussed. That's all for today, guys. I'm Tommy Smith. Back over to you. Thanks, Tommy. That's all for today, BHS. Have a great weekend. We will see you on Monday.